humans, one thing we're actually good at, even compared to other animals, podcasting. The thing we're actually good at is ultra endurance running and particularly in the heat. So unlike the other primates, we don't have body hair. You know, we're the only primates that have head hair that continually grows throughout our life. Like you don't see chimps having to get haircuts, right? So presumably <laughs> this is for sexual selection. Like Why for style. Why haven't I ever seen a chimp with a mullet? For humans, this is probably for attractiveness, for style, because we lose it in the rest of our body where we really need to dispense heat because humans were ultra endurance predators, you know, sort of chasing animals, running other animals into exhaustion, not able to sprint with them, but running them into exhaustion in the heat. So we can sweat and we stand really upright. We have good like butt muscles that help for running and all this stuff. We have Jack. a we have sort of like a tendon that basically cushions our brain for bouncing, for distance running. And women have all those things too, right? All those things are important yes. to persistence hunting. But then there are some differences where something that's like really important for women, like it's really important for women to have breasts and to be able to lactate for reproduction. That's really important. It doesn't really harm men to have nipples. So well, we, don't, as, we don't need them. As Robert De Niro once asked. I have nipples, Greg. Could you milk me? The efficient evolutionary system is just like everyone will have these. You know, sometimes they'll develop into female breasts and sometimes not. Like they're not selected against in men, so they stay. And like most of the things, they're overlapping for men and women, just a difference of degree.